Okay, the next neurological or nervous system disorder that I want to go over is seizures. You may know someone that has seizures. If they have seizures all the time called recurrent or reoccurring seizures, that is a condition known as epilepsy. But you can have seizures without being epileptic or have epilepsy. So what it is, is just crazy neuron firestorms in your brain. You think of like storms, like an electrical storm with a ton of lightning. It's kind of similar to that but in your brain. So it's an electrical firestorm in your brain. The electricity is off. They can give someone who has epilepsy or reoccurring seizures anti-convulsion. Convulsion means to move your body uncontrollably. Anti-convulsion drugs. But what I want to highlight for you in this video is what a seizure looks like and basic first aid for a seizure. Guys, give us some room. He's having a seizure. Give me some towels. Okay. Stay calm. It's going to be fine. Help me get him on his side. All right, listen up, fellas. Before we practice, I want to go over a couple of things. First, I'd like to welcome back Michael. Yeah. Good to have you back. We all know Michael has epilepsy, and he shared his seizure with us in the game. He has something he wants to say. Yeah, um, thank you all for supporting me, and thanks to Coach for knowing what to do. I'm sorry if my seizures scared you guys. It could be scary for me too. But what's even more scary is if people didn't know what to do. So today, we are going to learn seizure first aid thanks to the Epilepsy Foundation. We're teammates, right? We take care of one another, we count on one another, and when anyone with epilepsy has a seizure in front of you, they're your teammate and they're counting on you. So first, stay with it, okay? Stay calm and keep others around you calm and out of the way. Protect him, keep him safe. It's also important to remember that the person having the seizure should be lying down and that there is nothing harmful in their way. Turn them on their side and support their head so that they're not banging it and so they don't choke. Never put anything in their mouths and do not hold them down. Time the seizure till the very end. Okay. Knowing how long the seizure lasts is important information for the doctors to know. If the seizure lasts more than five minutes, call 911. When you see somebody having a seizure, you're going to feel a little powerless. But if you protect them and if you stick with them by their side, you're doing the right thing. Okay? All right, let's practice this. All right, so that's what a seizure looks like, and that's what you should do. Just remember to keep their head protected, turn them to their side so they don't choke on anything, don't try to restrain their body. And if your knee jerk is to call 911, that is what you should do. Do not time it and say, oh, it's been five minutes. But in the heat of the moment, with the adrenaline rushing to your brain and your muscles, I think you'll figure that out. So that is a seizure. One thing I think you'll find unique about seizures is their service dogs. People that have seizures can have a service dog that can sense in their body with their electricity, kind of similar to sharks, how they have electro perception. And remember, we have electricity. We have electricity, bioelectricity in our brain, in our heart. So these dogs pick up on changes in electricity, like there's gonna be lightning soon if we wanted to do an analogy. So I wanted to show you this brief thing on a dog that is with this epileptic owner and how he helps her. Extraordinary Dogs is brought to you by Yukonuba. 
where we believe all dogs are extraordinary. For a woman in Belgium, a dog proved to be nothing short of a lifesaver. Since the Golden Labrador maybe came to live with Christine at her home in Verigen eight years ago, the pair have been inseparable. However, maybe does not just follow Christine everywhere out of habit. She also has an important job to do. Maybe acts as a life-saving early warning system. Over 20 years ago, Christine was diagnosed with epilepsy, meaning she suffers from recurrent and sudden seizures. Epilepsy has in her life actually a lot of changed. In the sense that first, not more out work gaan, dus je verliest je collega's, je um, sociaal contact, um, dan niet meer met een auto rijden. En als ik eens buiten wou en het regende en ik kreeg toen een aanvaltje, dan kon ik daar makkelijk twee, drie uur liggen. Alhoewel, neus gebroken, schouder uit te komen, teen gebroken, pols gebroken, al die dingen. There is no cure for Christine's condition. Epileptic medication helps keep her seizures under control. But it's maybe who saves her life. And it began around nine years ago when Christine contacted the Hachiko organization. The foundation trains assistance dogs for people with motor disabilities or those suffering from epilepsy. Caroline Thienpont is one of the co founders of Hachiko and trains seizure response dogs. Dogs uh, are able to help people with epilepsy because they can they can help in, in some practical ways and prevent um, dangerous situations. They can do the street work where they prevent people from falling in the middle of the street. They can push an alarm button, they can get medication, they can, uh, if they are alert dog, they can prevent people from falling in dangerous spots or hurting themselves. Okay, so there you have it. They can either help them with the ins and outs of daily life or they can be a seizure alert dog.